blowing up astronauts in space? That's cold. This is Modern Warfare 2. Yet another happy, bubbly, uplifting game from Infinity Ward. Unlike many other big budget sequels, Infinity Ward improves upon a game that needed very little improving in the technical department. Modern Warfare 2 is simply amazing. That's for putting pickles on my cheeseburger. But there's a sale on tacos. How can you fight on an empty stomach? Why am I always so easily distracted in these games? I'm obviously on a mission, but there's so many other things to do. Get over here. The crash site is on the north side of Nate's restaurant. Hey, you know what this game reminds me of? A certain movie where a bunch of teenagers pick up machine guns and fight the Russians parachuting onto their high school. It had Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey, Dirty Dancing, can't remember the name of it. Charlie Sheen, the chick from Howard the Duck, what was that movie? They kept shouting something about groundhogs or hedgehogs, beavers, wolverines, Red Dawn, that's the movie. If you ever wanted to play a Red Dawn video game, now's your chance. At least for chunks of the game, parts of it are set in America. It's like Fallout 3 except not Grey. In just about every respect, I think that fans of the series will find that this game is near perfection. The storyline is even more intense than the first one, and nobody pulls off intense battlefield chaos like Infinity Ward. This game even mixes it up with some interesting driving style sequences. It's like Hydro Thunder with more guns. The game has a rather large selection of weaponry and adopts the self-checkout system. In general, I'd have to say that as an action game, I like just about everything in Modern Warfare 2. There's only two things I wish they would have removed. One, the airport sequence. What happens in that scene is important to the storyline, but I think that could have been done with cinematics. Parents who watch the show, this game has a mature rating and earns it. Number two, I don't like the scenes where you shoot dogs. I never like shooting dogs in games unless they're zombie dogs, in which case it's perfectly acceptable. Like, if you have to get by a dog, you should at least be able to summon the dog that Shinobi uses in Shadow Dancer and send them out. USS Dallas deploying Team 2, RV at the objective. The storyline in Modern Warfare 2 picks up after the events in the first Modern Warfare, takes you all over the world with a variety of characters, including some familiar ones, and throws some real curveballs your way. The level and map design is amazing. That's certainly one thing they've done very well with this series. In addition to the special ops and multiplayer, Modern Warfare 2 has a nice high replay value because while the storyline is not that long, the levels themselves are enormous. They're very well designed and you can play them in a variety of ways. So playing the missions again, trying to find all the intel and unlock all the achievement points and trophies and stuff is a lot of fun in Modern Warfare 2. Many people will say Modern Warfare 2 is the best game ever made, others will say it's just another ultra-violent shooter. Those are opinions. What is a fact is that the game gives you a lot for your money. This is the kind of game that makes other action games look bad because it's so well made. 
Then again, the budget is probably so very high. The music is by Hans Zimmer, who has done the music for films like Gladiator and Black Hawk Down. Shepard is voiced by Lance Henriksen. Many of you may know him as Bishop from Aliens, among many, many, many other movie roles. It has an enormous online multiplayer community, and as I said in my Halo 3 ODST review, when you buy a game that has a massive multiplayer community, you're buying those people. Just don't try to return them. I'll see you back here in part two for a look at the special ops and multiplayer in Modern Warfare 2. Yeah.